For anyone who have used the Azure portal to create resources, that is a good starting point. But next, when he wants to start automating the deployment of these resources, the Azure portal is not any more useful. So we have other tools that will help us to automate those deployments, like using the Azure CLI, the command line for Azure that works either cross-platform or Mac, Windows and Linux, or the PowerShell module for Azure. In this video, we'll explore the Azure CLI that is cross-platform in order to show you how we can create some resources in Azure like a web app and an app service plan and how we can view the resources in, from our Azure subscription in the console window. So let's get started. Let's get started. So here I'm within my own Azure subscription where I'm a contributor or owner of this uh, subscription. And then here I'll go to use the command lines in order to create those resources. So I'll choose here to create an Azure app service. So to do that here, I'll go to click on this button, which is Cloud Shell, and that will bring to me here this uh, Azure Bash. So here actually I can choose between Azure Bash that will work for commands on Linux or PowerShell if you wanna uh, use PowerShell. And the Azure CLI here is a cross-platform tool, so it does work on uh, Linux, uh, Windows, and macOS. So when you provision this one for the first time, you might get a dialog here asking you to create uh, to create a storage account in order to save the files that will be saved into this uh, cloud shell. Uh, so just accept that and click create, and Azure will configure that uh, uh, for you. Next here, when we, if we have multiple Azure subscriptions, it's uh, actually useful to get what is the subscription that is linked onto this cloud shell. So if I go here to say az account list dash o table, then here I would see my Azure uh, subscriptions. Let's maximize this window. And the yeah, I can see my subscriptions and the default one is the Azure uh, number uh, zero right here. So I'm, I'm okay to use that subscription. If I wanna use another one, then I would use here az account set dash uh, s and then i provide the id of the subscription i want to use great i'll continue with that one so from here actually what i can do i can run some az commands like az uh, version to get the azure version i'm using here the cli version i'm using which is 234 as of the, the day of recording this video and then i can use some other commands like az group uh, list dash o table. I want to output the resource groups into a table format. And here I can see my three resource groups from my Azure uh, subscription. In this demo, we want to go to create a new app service. So let's go to do that. So when we create an app service, we need actually to create three resources, which are the resource group, which is the log logical isolation for my applications. And then the second resource is the app service. And then the third step is to create the Azure app service itself. So let's start with the first uh, uh, step where we go here to create the resource group. So I'll go to create the resource group. I'll give it uh, with the command az group create then we give it a name with dash n that's gonna be named azure cli web app dash l west europe and yeah then i'll go to create the azure app service plan using the command az app service plan uh, app service uh, plan create i select here to be a linux app service plan with the sku b1 and that will be hosted inside the same resource group that I've created earlier. That will take a few seconds. Let's wait for it. Once it's created, it shows me here the JSON output from that uh, app service, which shows all the uh, properties or the default properties configured for that app service plan. Let's now go to the create the third resource, which is the app service itself. So I'll go here to paste this uh, script that will go to create an Azure web app using az web app create we give our web app a name and then we give it a resource group where to live and then we specify the app service plan that we have created earlier which is this one here and we specify the environment for that app service here i choose it java 11. that will take a few seconds and after that actually i can go to review the resource group that were created earlier. If I run again the same command az group list here, I would see my new resource group created uh, successfully. And then I can view all the resources created from this command line. So if I go to use the command az resource list 
From here, I will I can list the resources from this resource group in a table format. And here I can see both my uh, app service and the app service plan that I've created. And then next here, I can query some of these resources. So I to get, for example, the app service uh, URL, I can go to run the AZ web app show. And with show, I can say query host names zero and here i get that app service url you can go to copy that app service url open it in a new window and from here we can see our java web application running in azure great so these resources could be also seen either from the cli or also from the azure portal so from here if i go to search resource groups i will see the resource group that we are created from my subscription number zero. If I go to select only that subscription, only apply. And here it is, my resource group. And from within that, I can see my two resources for the Azure CLI web app and the app service plan. And from here too, I can get the link to my app service to browse it. Great. So from here, I can go to delete the resource itself, delete only the app service, or I can go back to the resource group and delete all the resource group that will delete also all the child, uh, all the services within it. Or I can actually do that same operation using the command line. And that's what I'm going to show right here to clean up these resources. So I go to use the command az group delete. And then I want to say yes. I want to uh, confirm this operation and that will start immediately deleting these resources. Deleting the resources will take a few seconds, so let's keep it going. And next here, what I want to show here is the Git repository that shows all the commands and the scripts that we have used today in this demo. Uh, typically here or uh, specifically within this um, um, this folder, you will find the scripts that, and the commands that we have used so you can reuse it. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.